Hi, this is Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. In this video, I'm going to show you another way to publish your website to the internet. Now, I say another way because in a previous video, I showed you the most common way, what I've been calling method number one. And it's the most common and most popular and certainly the most practical way to publish your website because in that video, I showed you how to use the 90 Second Website Builder software itself to do the publishing and not have to go to any other outside programs. But it is possible to go to another outside program if you want to. 90 Second Website Builder will accommodate that. And let's talk about that. So to publish your website, or in other words, to upload it to your hosting account, you would click the Publish button, which is right here. Another way to do it is to just go to File, Publish. That's the same thing as clicking the Publish button. And we get this Publish Website window. Now, in mine, you can see I already have a few locations set up. The ones that have the little globe next to them, those are remote locations. In other words, if I was to choose that location or connect with that location, then I would be uploading directly to my web hosting account um, or my web server, in other words, uh, just by using that connection. These, on the other hand, are not connected to a particular web hosting account or server. These are just folders on my computer. In my case, I've stored them on my desktop. So I've created four, for four different projects, four uh, local locations so that I could publish my website to my computer and then upload it manually later using other software. Let me show you though, quickly before we do that, if I were to use the um, remote location like I did in the previous video, I would simply just select this and go publish. But let me show you how this was created. I created it of all of these, of course, by clicking the add button and then filling in the blanks. But I'm gonna edit this to show you what it looks like. When I created this remote location, I chose FTP server instead of local folder and filled in the blanks, the information, of course, that you get from your hosting company. There's a button here that shows you how to look at your web hosting account. In other words, you can explore the server that your website is stored on. Well, that is what an FTP program is. And so this is the FTP part of 90 Second Website Builder that is so practical. If I click this button, I'm literally looking at the server now. In fact, there's that public HTML folder we're always talking about that you need to publish to. If I double click and go inside that folder, I see my website. Now this is a full-fledged FTP program built into our software where you can download and upload files, you can delete files, you can make new directories, you can change permissions, which is kind of a more advanced feature. But most things that you can do with an FTP program, you can do with this feature in 90 seconds. Okay, now having said that, this video is about doing otherwise. If you, for some reason, want to use another FTP program like FileZilla, Qt FTP, WS FTP, or some other uh, popular program that maybe you're used to, you can certainly do that. You can create, and I'll click Add here to create a new location, you can create what's called a local location. So instead of using FTP or remote, I'm going to choose local folder. I can describe it however I want to. This is just for me. And of course, this also doesn't really matter. This is just for my own reference. This will matter, the folder that I send these files to on my computer. So what I'm gonna do is create a folder. So I'll click this little button here, and I wanna store mine on the desktop. So here I am on my desktop, where I'm gonna make a folder. So I simply click this button, and you can see it's created a new folder on my desktop and highlighted it so I can name it something. And there we have it. So I click OK. And you can see that here's the path on my C drive, goes to my desktop and into a folder called my website. So all I've done now is create a local location called my website. Now, when I go to publish this particular project that I'm working on, if I select this location, my website will publish to that folder. Let me show you what that looks like. So let's publish. And by the way, I can publish the entire website or a selected page or any of these options, as you probably have seen in the other publishing video. But in this case, of course, since it's the first time, I'll publish the entire website and all files. So I simply click Publish, and 90 Second Website Builder gives me a log of everything that just happened. It published 18 files, and here are the names of them, and copied them to this particular folder. Now, understand there's a difference between my published website and my 90 Second Website Builder project. My 90 Second Website Builder project remains intact as a project file, a WBS file it's called. What 90 Second did was it generated a copy of this website and put it in HTML format so that it's web friendly. So in fact, let's go look at it on my desktop. 
I'll move this window over because I have a funny feeling it's just right here. Here it is. Here, I'll just move this so we can look at it. See, there's the folder that was created. And inside this folder, you'll see is my information. There are my two pages. I have a page called index and a page called info, which you can see in my project there. And here's the folder where all the images will be stored. These are the files that I would want to publish to my web server. Simple enough. But the important part is these files, if I want to come back and edit this website, I wouldn't open these files. I would open up my 90 second website builder program and I would open up this project, this WBS file that stores my entire website and I would do my editing here. This is a generated copy of the site in HTML format ready for the web. Understand the difference between those. We now have two different files. The project file that I would edit and work with and the one that's been generated to be uploaded to the server. Now, this may seem a little bit more complicated. That's because we've added this extra step of publishing locally and now we're gonna have to go publish using an FTP program. That's why it's better for you just to use the software to do your publishing. But again, if you are doing something more advanced and you need this extra step, you can do it. All right, let's talk about now publishing that. Let me close this folder and I'm gonna open up my FTP program, which is down here. And most FTP programs have a very similar layout. You're gonna have a window on one side that represents your local computer and then a window on the other side that represents the server that you've logged into. So I've opened up my FTP program. I've logged into the hosting account for this website. And so as you can see on the left hand side, here's my desktop and all of the uh, folders on my desktop, which I have a bunch of, as you can see. Here's that one that we just created called My Website. Let's double click and open it, and you'll see there's the website inside. This is a very important point. When I upload my website files, it's really important that I upload these files and not this folder. I'm not op uploading this folder. I'm uploading the contents of this folder to my website. Now, I underscore that and highlight that because it's a common mistake. I actually get people uh, creating support tickets over this quite a bit. They'll say, hey, I uploaded my website using an FTP program and it's not showing. And the reason is because they make the mistake of uploading this folder instead of uploading the contents of this folder. So hopefully that's clear. Now let's look at the server side. On my FTP program, I, in this window, I'm looking at the server. So while the left side is local, the right side is remote. And here's my FTP, I'm sorry, here's my public HTML folder. That's where we store our website. I'm gonna go inside and here we are. Now this part's really simple. Most FTP programs work this way. I can select all my files and sometimes they have a button that says upload or transfer or you can even drag and drop like I'm doing here and I'm gonna copy my website files over onto the server. And because it's a small website, in my case, for this demo, I did that on purpose actually, so it won't take forever, you can see that it's uploading and it won't take very long because I've only got a few files. Okay, so now you can see that my website is in the right place. See, what would have happened if I did this incorrectly? If I would have uploaded this folder like this, what would happen is I would have created a new directory on my website called my website, and the my website would be stored inside that, and it would be too many levels deep. So we don't want to do that. So if you have done that, you're going to want to delete that folder and only upload the files that are inside that folder. Okay, so inside your public HTML folder is where your website lives. If you're using an add-on domain or a subdomain, those folders would be listed here as well. You would open those up and put your website files in the appropriate folder. I realize this is slightly more advanced, but this will only apply to those of you who have the need for that extra step of publishing manually with another FTP program. Just want you to know that it can be done using 90 Second Website Builder.